Hello, MGTOW. Hello, men. This is Howard Dare. Thanks for stopping by. So, I want to talk about Revenge of the Entitled Princess Bitches. Because aren't princesses entitled? And aren't entitled princesses bitches? But first, I want to say thank you to everybody who's been stopping by, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, even donating. I appreciate it. And the Howard Dare channel is open for requests. So go ahead and drop me a donation through my PayPal link and make a request. And I will make a MGTOW video for you, your very own. It'll be a life-changing experience. So go ahead and do that, and it will change your life. Now, let's talk about Revenge of the Entitled Princess Bitches. So I got a request from Shannon Carson on my video, Celebrity Twitter Shitstorm. Here's what he has to say. I want to read the comment, read a couple of responses to the comment, and then go ahead and give my response to the situation. So here's the comment from Shannon Carson. He says, Howard, love the show. I'm a new listener and MGTOW. I was married to an entitled princess bitch for 18 years. She cheated countless times and had an affair, which I exposed with my so-called pathetic best friend. She then divorced me and has continually attacked me in court every way possible for two years now. I am engaged now to a traditional submissive woman. I have nothing to do with the ex, yet she still attacks me. I am beside myself with why. After all, she divorced me, tried to ruin my life, as these whores do. But why all the effort? I thought for a bit, is she still in love with me? But then I felt my balls bounce on my leg as I walked to my car one day and I came to my senses. Nope, it's revenge. But revenge for what? Why not continue with your life? And who cares what I do? Could you do a video on revenge of princess bitches and explain why they don't want us, but at the same time, they can't move on unless they've destroyed us? This would help a lot of us defend ourselves if we understood the crazy logic of the pissed off princess bitches. Okay, that's a great comment and a great question. Thank you, Shannon. I appreciate it. Dio Jeans replies, she wants revenge for not being their cuck boy. That's a good reply. Angel DePosey says, she sounds to be the kind who wanted you as a sugar daddy, bitch or cuck boy, like Dio said. Meanwhile, run off cheating on you for the thrill of adventurous reasons. She most likely viewed you as her property rather than her man. The fact that you are moving on is just rubbing salt in her self-inflicted wound. It is not uncommon to come across these kind of women. My best advice is to keep no contact with her. Keep focusing on yourself. If your ex hasn't stopped harassing you yet, she should lose interest in due time, most likely finding herself a new victim. Dio Jeans replies to Angel DePosey, meanwhile ran off cheating on you for the thrill of adventurous reasons. And that's in beautiful italicized text there. He says, I beg to differ. It's not simply for the thrill or adventure. Women are subject to their hormones. Once a month, those hormones direct a woman to seek a stud, good gene sperm for their eggs, as compared to the cuck resource provider that they might have at home. Angel DePosey replies, I agree with you. I may have worded it a bit odd. By the way, how did you get the text italicized? Dio replies, lead and finish with an underscore. So there you go, people. That's the answer on how to get italicized text in your comments in the YouTube comment section. All right, there you go. Great video. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Uh, although I will be trying that out because I always wanted to know how to do that too. Thank you guys. So those are great replies, you know, to the question. And it's a great question, isn't it? Why does the entitled princess bitch want to destroy the ex? And this is this isn't like a a rare occurrence. This is this is the rule, okay? When men and women break up, women want to destroy that man. They don't just want to go their own way, you know, and like, oh well, this didn't work out. And I have done a couple of videos on this. Gold Digging Whores Throughout History, which is a great video. It's kind of long, but it's got some comedy in it too. And it covers this subject from an evolutionary biology point of view and from a cultural point of view throughout history. So check that one out. I've also done a video on comparing modern women to black widow spiders. And it covers this from kind of like an insect politics point of view because you know, you wonder where do the women get these tendencies? And part of it is just this kind of insect behavior where they lure and then consume and destroy the mate. Now, 
This is worth talking about again because those videos are kind of old. So my views on this have changed and they've they've updated a little bit. And here's what I have to say about it now. Breaking up with a woman is extremely dangerous. It truly can be likened to a black widow spider who's gotten sex from the female and is now trying to get the hell out of there before she consumes him. Because that is the instinct. And it is ingrained into the human female. When you're looking at a beautiful woman and you're thinking, you know, as a man, wow, I'd really like to get together with her. She just looks perfect and uh, I would have no problem sacrificing, you know, everything just to be with her. When you're feeling that and you're looking at her, she's looking at the man and she's feeling something too, but she's looking at him as a giant resource and she's biologically designed, okay, to lure that man in. Understand it this way, okay? The stronger you feel attracted to her and that you feel like you would do anything for her, the more other men feel that as well. And this was the evolutionary biology trick played on the male to get him to be lured into the web and if he's not careful, to be destroyed. And it is a compulsion of the woman. Consider what we would call the end of patriarchy, okay? The 1950s, and we institute no-fault divorce. The reason why you have to have no-fault divorce instituted right there is because the women are going crazy. You're, supply you're taking care of them. You're, you're turning them into entitled princess bitches, and they're going crazy crazy. Why? Because throughout biology, the men would always die or take off within about three years. That's it. They couldn't stick around longer. And the more beautiful the woman was, the more easily that she could replace him and the more competitive other men were with her. So then you move in, you know, to this agricultural age where you've got a mate for, you know, every man, even though, you know, he wouldn't have actually been able to pull it off in a hunter-gatherer society. And, right, things are pretty stable. Things were out really well and the male can take care of the female right provides a safe nest and everything like that but within about three years she's going crazy and she wants a divorce and understand she doesn't just want a divorce she doesn't just want to take the man's resources that's not just part of her biology she wants to destroy the man okay that's built into her so if you can get out it's going to be the exception for a man to be able to get out of a relationship with a woman and her not come after him that's going to be the exception understand and she feels that she is entitled to destroy you on all aspects. That's why there, she has no problem lying about you in court, okay? She is trying to destroy the man's hunting grounds, his, his social resources, his network. It is her biology. She may not even know why she's doing it. She may not even hate the man. And here's another kicker, okay? The nicer you are to a woman, the more abusive she will be back towards you on this level. Once she's switched, you know, this biological evolutionary switch has flipped. Because the man is sitting there saying, oh, I'm trying to be so nice. I'm trying to give her everything she wants. And to her, you know, this is why women hate nice guys, okay? The nicer the man is trying to be, the more entitled he's get making the woman, the more hostile she's becoming towards him, the more resentful she's becoming towards him. The more he's trying to please her, the less she is respecting him. I know, it's a messed up situation. Because from an emotional point of view, from building relationships point of view, from building a family point of view, it's like, this is madness. This won't work. And it won't. But from an evolution evolutionary biology point of view from the idea of a woman as a sexual predator. Yeah, that's exactly what's going on. Also, check out my videos on, you know, recognizing female predators, which I kind of needed to complete, um, but, but I didn't. I kind of left it, you know, at that midway stage because the subject matter moves. I would have had to have covered female sexual predators. You know, I didn't really think I was ready to do that, but it is all sexual predation on the female's part, and that's what this is about. And I would think that it, this desire to destroy the ex and not just move on in this healthy manner, this tendency to actually feel even strongly towards doing it, towards what we would call the nice guy, the uh, tendency of the man to get trapped in this pattern of not understanding, of trying to please the woman and the woman interpreting this as weakness and coming after him even stronger. And the man actually kind of like wanting to sacrifice himself. These are very strong instincts. These are tendencies that are built into us. To avoid these fates, you actually have have to be the exception. And the man can at least be aware of this stuff. And I'm sure that this is the source of great frustration for many men that on some level, they're like, what the hell is going wrong here? 
He's trying to be a nice guy. He only wants what's best. And the princess bitch is coming after him, still looking for revenge. So, you know, what is the best advice in this situation? Because there's some of the background on it, and there's plenty of my videos on it. And it's a great question because it really does get to the heart of the matter regarding gender relations and the idea that the other men within our society, within our culture, are trying to help the women to destroy the men that they've been with. This kind of like crazy idiotic idea that men have that that's what they should do. That's the, the natural mode. This Captain save -a this white knighting bullshit. And it's the default mode. It's what we naturally go into. And it's destroying Western civilization. Revenge of the entitled princess bitches. And the more you give them, the more you try to take care of them, the worse they behave. So that should be a lesson right there. That should be a tip off right there. Cut the bitch off. Don't give her anything. Start showing her some cruelty. Show her what a man is. Show her why you've cut her off. Show her why you don't want anything to do with her. Also, build yourself up so strongly, so effectively, that for her to have any contact with you is like salt in the wound, you know? Cut off contact with a, with a bitch like that, of course. But when she does contact you and you have no choice but to be in contact with her, make it hurt. Show her the advantages of not being around her. And then maybe she'll start to back off a little bit. But if you try to be nice, and if you try to placate, you know, and if you try to reach a compromise with somebody like that, no, they're just going to come after you even stronger. It's like the female instinct gone crazy. It's like uh, wild hyenas in charge. You know, there's another video I should do regarding, you know, updating from spiders and insects to the whole idea of, you know, this matriarchal pack, which is what hyenas are. And I think that we could learn a lot about feminism and the way that it behaves on a cultural scale, you know, on this like group scale uh, by studying the hyena packs, no doubt about it. And perhaps a little bit more on the insect politics by studying kind of like hive dynamics, like an ant nest that serves the queen, you know, that's just serving this reproductive purpose with this crazy, you know, insect-like drive. Because that's what the feminists act like, don't they? Once they get into their ideology, that's what the Clinton supporters are acting like too. That's what the socialists act like. That's what the communists act like. They act like this insect hive mentality. So I'm going to finish this up for now. Yeah, I've been running into Hillary Clinton supporters out there, you know, in the public, and they're just mean and nasty and bitter now. You know what I mean? <laughs> Bad attitude. Too bad. You know, they're just going to have to get used to it and they're going to have to start earning their way a little bit more. We're really going to need to examine as a culture, as a society, the efficiency of, you know, what we're doing, why we're taking care of the things we're taking care of, you know, like why take care of these entitled princess bitches? They're old, they're mean, they're bitter. Let them go. Forget about them. And if they do try to contact you or have anything to do with you, make that, take that as an opportunity to throw a bunch of salt in that wound. And if you don't do it, she'll come back for more until you're, until you're destroyed. So that's my advice on that. As I mentioned earlier, go ahead and go to my PayPal donation link and request a video. You know, treat yourself this holiday season <clears throat> to a Howard Dare video. And I think you'll really be surprised pleasantly. <laughs> yes, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Here's the thing. You don't have to request a video. You can just make a donation. There's no requirements or limitations on anything like that. I mean, we do need the help. I'm asking for your help here at the Howard Dare channel because I'm going to have to start doing things a little differently over here, just kind of like working out a new model and a new formula as my subscriber count goes up, you know, and I really appreciate the subscriber count going up, which, you know, I'll gladly talk to you guys about in future videos. So go ahead, as I said, PayPal, donation link, request a video, or just, you know, throw me some stuff, you know, here for the holiday season so that we can get things working here a little better at the Howard Dare channel. So let me know what you think about this in the comments section below and join me again, Howard Dare, as I plan to have more content for you. Thank you, MGTOW.